folks. So I'm in my purple robe again, greeting you on this fine spring evening in Tasmania. I'm a very weary, weary man today, just feeling um, tired, not enough sleep, lots of work, lots of everything, and needing, feeling like I really want a break. Uh, which brings me to my topic of this evening, which is holidays. Um, I am coming up to uh, having worked 10 years uh, in the public service in my state. And uh, once you've reached 10 years, you get long service leave, which means I get about three months leave with full pay and that comes up on the 2nd of October this year and I have not had more than a couple of weeks holiday in the last 10 years um, except at the birth of my children, the births of my children and so I'm so looking forward to the prospect of three months without having to do anything and I really don't know what to do with that time. I'd love to go overseas with the family, but I don't think we can afford it. So, um, I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, you know, I'll still be hanging out with the family, but I wonder if I should tra we should travel, or renovate, or garden, or go on a fitness regime, or just lie on the couch and watch movies, for three months, <laughs> or I don't know, learn a language. So my question, I guess, for you today is if you had three months to do anything you wanted, but the budget was tight, what would you do? Um, let me know, give me some ideas, because I'm a bit lost for ideas. I, I don't think I'll be taking that time off until next year because this coming spring and summer I'll have a lot of work commitments um, going out in the bush and doing, looking at all the plants that are flowering over that season and that's something I can't do except over the next few months. But maybe early next year the prospect of taking three months off is very, very fine. So let me know below. Um, Sorry that I'm sounding very dazed and tired. I'm just feeling that way tonight. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.